So Bobrovsky is doing his thing. Check that out. The first seven seasons of his career in the playoffs, five and 14, giving up three and a half goals per game. This year, six and one, less than two goals a game, and check out that save percentage. Weeksy, I, I want you to take me through this. What is the difference in a mentality of a guy early on in his career in the playoffs and then when you kind of start getting it going? I think it's really a function, you know, some growth and some maturation. Every player goes through that in their own way, uh, especially in a pressurized position like net. And I would also say for Sergei Bobrovsky and Hearts, you know this having played with him, he's arguably the hardest working guy on that team. He's a consummate professional, and he's found ways to retool his game. He's found ways to elevate his game. And this is from a guy that's a two-time Vesna winner. I mean, you're talking about a guy that long after the games, he's riding the bike for an hour. He's the first one at the practice rink. He goes to Red Bull's training facility in the offseason to work on his game. I'm talking about June. Now, maybe he might not be able to do that this year, mm. but June, July. And, you know, when, you've, when you're always searching to add things to improve your game, you're going to get results. It's just a matter of time. So nice for him that he's getting the results. And another great thing, I love the fact that he was crediting his teammates their hearts. You heard him talk about it, how hard the guys are playing in front of him. That's huge, too. Well, just the, the way they're playing in front of him. They are blocking shocks, shots. They're sacrificing. They're getting pucks deep or pucks out of their own blue line. They're getting pucks deep at the other team's blue line. So they're making it easy on Bob. And when they're not there to make, uh, make a save for him or a big block for him, Bob's there just uh, doing what he does best and blocking sh or making a save. So for Bob, he's, it's been a long time making for him and just so happy for him and, and the city of Columbus that they're doing awesome. And also, too, sorry, quickly, yeah. the franchise, too, now. I mean, this is the first year they've gotten past the first round. Unreal. And they've yeah. had good teams yeah. and they have good players. But it's nice to see that they stuck with it as a franchise and everybody's bought in, to your point. When the fans didn't sit down the whole third period. Totally. That's awesome. Totally. Can you talk to what it is to play in front of a goalie who's figuring it out? And, and listen, it almost feels wrong that I'm saying figure it out because the guy is he, he's he's an all-star, all-world goalie. All world. But it seems like he's figuring it out right now. Yeah, you know, it's it's frustrating. I think, you know, the previous years, obviously, I was there for, for one of the years when we were in the playoffs and, and you know, some soft goals that, that he should, that he normally stops. And and this year, he's making everything. He's making the, the stops that he should. He's making some of that that he ain't or that he shouldn't. So for Bob, it's uh, it, he's the man right now. He's got a lot of confidence, and, and when a goalie gets a lot of confidence, you would know, mm. dangerous. No doubt. No doubt. Good to see.